This brief video introduces the Kaleido MDM model-driven API. Our MDM toolkit is the foundation for the Kaleido MDM customization service and was designed to quickly build custom MDM applets and applications that enable broader MDM program participation throughout the organization. As part of the toolkit, our model-driven API provides specialized ways to expose existing MDM functionality in order to quickly solve business problems through custom application. MDM functionality can easily be embedded in business applications or integrated into standalone MDM interfaces, including those for mobile devices. The benefits of this toolkit and model-driven API are twofold. Expanded master data participation across the entire enterprise and enable direct integration into existing business applications. So let's get started. For this tutorial, we're going to be talking about a retail store that wants to create and manage item requests for grocery and pharmacy items. These requests spawn the company process to create or modify an item within the store. The product team was comfortable with the model and Kaleido MDM functionality, but needed a more tailored approach to authoring master data. Strict process was enforced within the business, and audit history is central to the company's change management policy. The product team was small and efficient, so they settled on a very simple workflow. Let's take a look at it in MDM. This workflow was designed such that, once the item request is created, it is submitted for approval. Requests for pharmacy items are sent to the pharmacy department head for approval, while other requests are approved by the grocery department. If approved, the item is sent to an authorization state, otherwise it can be rejected. Upon authorization, the item associated with the request is either updated or created, and the results published. The item information is then automatically pushed out to Salesforce. If the item is rejected, it is sent to the item rejected state for further review. And if the item is in the rejected state from either the authorization or approval states, the item is sent back to the requester and can be updated and sent back for approval. So let's say we're working in the grocery department today. Here we have an example in the Kaleido MDM provider UI of an ice cream product that was originally discontinued, but after resolving some supplier issues, the product was to be put back on the shelf. Viewing this item in history mode shows the values in a bar chart, and we see the various attributes over time and when a change occurred. Note that the product class was changed from deletes to luxury ice cream at 11.08 on October 1st. The requester followed up with a few additional updates at 11.10, organic and consumable set to true. When we click on the current mode, we can see the two requests that initiated the changes. Now let's switch focus and talk about a pharmacy manager. The pharmacy manager wants to add a new multivitamin to their new health section. So they log into the product master system and quickly review their inbox for pending requests. Note that there are several requests that have been rejected by the appropriate approver and have been returned to the requester for resolution. Now the manager selects the option to generate a new request. Prior to implementing Kaleido MDM, the product team was plagued by duplicate entries. The store managed 3,000 items, but prior to Kaleido, the product master contained 10,000 items. To remedy the issue, the custom UI incorporates Kaleido MDM's matching capability. The product manager enters the new product, Acme Multivitamins, and the matching engine returns a long list of possible matches based on the product description and variant fields. While implementing fuzzy matching, the engine assigns a score to each match based on the strength of the match. Our list of matches is a bit outside what we might consider vitamins, so we adjust the threshold matching score with a slider on the custom form. Looks like we're good to go, as the matching engine only turns up Acme Vitamin A and Acme Vitamin K. So the product manager continues to enter the rest of the data for our new multivitamin product. Our next attribute is the identifier, the business item number. This ID is automatically validated against the product master by checking for duplicates. We move on to the rest of the attributes by clicking the appropriate tab and entering the information. Since this new item comes from the pharmacy department, the request now goes to the pharmacy department manager for approval. The request is now complete and we can submit the request. Remember, 
our workflow is data-driven, so when I log in as a grocery manager, I will not see the new pharmacy request in my inbox. The pharmacy department manager logs into the product master and surveys his inbox. The new product request is in the mix. The manager clicks on the request ID and does a quick check on the new vitamin product. If something is incorrect, he can reject the request and send it back to the requester. But in this case, all the information looks good and the request is approved. Upon approval, the authorizer has received an email from the Kaleido MDM server indicating that the new Acme multivitamin product is sitting in his inbox awaiting authorization. He logs into the UI and sees the pending request. By clicking on the request link, the authorizer checks the request details tab to see who created and approved the information. All looks good and the request is authorized. Three things now occur upon authorization. First, a new item is created, then published. Second, the request is also published. Third, the new item is pushed out to Salesforce. Let's do a quick search for our new item. Here we have our new multivitamin product and our search results. Let's click on the product description name and have a look at the detail. We have the option now to create an amend request or request a new variant for this particular item. Notice the Salesforce link in the detail record. Let's click the link and see the new item in Salesforce. And here is the new item we just made. All the fields populated at creation time are properly reflected in Salesforce. This item is now available for use in the company's operational process. In summary, we authored a new item using a request system driven by Kaleido MDM. The authoring and request process is streamlined by a Kaleido custom UI, which was developed with our model-driven API toolkit. This authoring process was built on top of the Kaleido model and the MDM engine. Key functionality included workflow, matching, change management including audit trail, and cloud system or third-party integration.